Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again, both for our radio audience here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com. We're glad that you all could be with us. Also, tuning in to our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. If you guys are a fan of history, our next two guests are going to definitely delight you with their new book. We're excited to welcome authors Shauna J. Edwards, as well as Elson Richmond, to our program. They're the co-authors of the new historical fiction called The Thread Collectors. We'll talk to them not only about their storytelling journey, but what it's like for them to come together to write this powerful book that really takes us back to an interesting time in our history, but also introduces us to some individuals that I think are relatable even today. If you guys are just now finding out about the Thread Collectors, we'll let you know how to get your own copy of the book. But Shauna, Allison, hello to you, and welcome to the program. Thank you for having us. Oh, the pleasure is definitely all mine. Shauna, I'm going to start with you. I mean, what has it been like for you to see the early response to the Thread Collectors already? Well, Cyrus, it has been amazing. You know, this is my debut novel. I am a black Southern woman that always knew that I had a story to tell, but probably not quite the courage to put pen to paper. And so to do this project with Allison has been so gratifying. I'm a lawyer by training, so I've always loved to uncover facts and play with words, but to do it in this way is really a dream come true. And I appreciate that. Congratulations to you, Shauna. Allison, what about for you? I mean, uh, historical novels is something your audience has got to know you for, but what has it been like for you to see the response to the Thread Collectors? Well, just to echo what Shauna said, it is, you know, a dream come true. We, You know, this is a novel where both of us brought our own family trees, our own sort of, you know, desires to make something that has intention and, and historical accuracy and a, and a real soul to it. And when you think that two souls are writing this book, I feel that the, the end product is just a very deeply layered novel that I, I, I'm just thrilled about the response we're getting from it from early readers. Yeah, it, it is a fascinating story. Alice, I want to stick with you for a second. What is it about historical fiction that really has intrigued you that made that be part of your trademark as a, as a storyteller? Mm. Well, um, you know, I I studied in college art history, and I always like to sort of, you know, trace my um, development as a writer back to those, you know, college years where I loved sort of delving into the story behind the painting, putting it into historical context, looking at the psychological relationship between artist and muse, um, you know, looking for clues of what the painter might have put into that canvas to sort of make us see a window back into history. And so, you know, for me, Writing novels, I mean, I've always been a very curious person. I don't think it would ever be enough just for me personally to write a novel where there were just contemporary characters experiencing life. I want to learn something that I didn't know along the way. And so with historical fiction, there's so much research that goes into creating a novel. Um, you know, my, my father is, is an electrical engineer, and he always used to say to truly understand something, you need to be able to take apart all the pieces and put it back together again, all those intricate pieces. And writing a historical fiction novel is very much that process, you know, learning in as much as you possibly can all those intricate pieces and then trying to stitch them back into a world in which the reader doesn't feel that it's didactic, but that they're learning through the footsteps of the characters. Yeah. Such a powerful thing. And, and for you, Shauna, I mean, for your debut novel, what was it about going back in time? What was it about writing a historical fiction novel that, that, that intrigued you and made you want to do it? Well, so it's, it's the chance to illuminate episodes in history that can really teach us how to move forward today. Um, so people think of the Civil War as very black and white, but of course we know that there were people who, like in Allison's family, fought on sides of the war that you wouldn't have expected. We knew that there were people who came together and did incredible acts of bravery, like black Union soldiers, people that were fleeing from slavery and could have just gone on to take care of themselves, but instead said, I want to fight like the black soldiers at Port Hudson, which is a battle in Louisiana that we feature. And I don't think we talk enough about those stories, not only because we should be aware of what happened in our past, but they can really help us move forward today. We're still living in what I think of as an incredibly difficult and divisive time, and if we can learn from how other people overcome great divisions, then perhaps we can do it now. 
Such a great point. And to that point, Sean, Alice, I want to ask you about something that the character Lily writes about in her journal. And uh, in in the mm-hmm. book, we're, we're getting to know um, Lily as what she's called a girl of fire. And she wrote in the journal about seeing mm-hmm. an injustice uh, against, against mm-hmm. a young woman and really making her think about what she called the atrocity of slavery. That could be a very 2022 statement. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, absolutely. And, and she's looking mm-hmm. at injustice and thinking about her role. What was that like for you to think about, though? That writing about something taking place in the 1800s, how it is so relevant for us today? Well, I have to really um, compliment you for bringing out that scene and, and sort of evoking of like what it must have felt for me, because you know this germ of an idea to write what you know a Civil War novel um, came to me actually several years ago before I actually thought about collaborating with Shauna. We, we, you know, and I feel like in 2020 when I when we decided to sit down and write this novel, it was because of the climate in the United States as we witnessed you know, the visualization of racial violence that has always been there, but for many people we're seeing it, you know, with eyes wide open for the first time. Right. And so I think it was only natural that when I was writing those scenes with Lily that I was bringing how I often felt, you know, living in 2020. And, and that's kind of touching upon what Shauna said, that even though something happens in history, if we do it right, we can connect of what we are living and experiencing in real time. And it doesn't become something that is dusty from the past. It's something that, you know, just in the same way that when you're creating fiction, I think the secret is to creating characters that the readers feel a universal um, semblance to the emotions they're experiencing, whether it's the, the desire to protect our children, put food on the table, you know, love the person we want to love instead of having them forced upon us, those universal emotions of love and loss. There's also these universal emotions that we're feeling in today's world with also what people were experiencing, you know, 160 years before. Yeah, such a great point. Shauna, last question and- for you. I mean, talking about the, the character of Stella and even her own journey of trying to to be something, what was that like for you to bring to life? Well, I knew that I had to make Stella special because Stella is named after my own mother. Um, but for me, it was about thinking about how you can still have agency in your life even when the choices seem limited. I know that as a woman of color, there's a lot of things in the world that may tell you that you cannot do all of these things. You can't go to law school. You can't write a novel. Um, but you do have choices, right? And we see Stella through taking the limited resources she has. She has these threads. And she says, I can make these maps to help enslaved men run and join the Union Army. And I think that's a powerful message, right? Don't think about what you can't do. Don't think about the limitations. Think about what you can do. Mm. Such a great point. Again, everyone, Shauna J. Edwards and Allison Richmond have been our guests. The new book is The Thread Collectors, out through our friends at Amazon.com or through your favorite bookstore. And also make sure you guys are staying connected with the authors. You can go to their website at thethreadcollectors.com. Shauna, Allison, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. And looking forward to having you back on the show again. Thank you so much, Cyrus. It was a pleasure. The thank pleasure you. is definitely all ours for sure. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now let's go make today amazing. Take care.